Hello and welcome back to my channel, Man Man here again for Final Fantasy XIV Gaming Vlog number 9. Please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next Final Fantasy XIV Gaming Vlog. Thank you very much and enjoy. So in this part of the video, we are going to know how to use materia and to finish the level 20 carpenter guild quest this one deliver material enhanced iron lance to be beaten all right so but first we need to speak with the storm on our guard and where is it there it is. Can't go out. There are arrivals attendant. Ah, uh, you must be the envoy from Gridania. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa, my lady. Admiral Blowfistmin waits your arrival. Storm Honor Guard. You are the Gridanian Envoy. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. I will take you to Bulwark Hall. Once there, pray speak with Zantha L. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Inside the means of the lower decks. Uh, okay, I'm here. So, where is Zan Tael? Storm Sergeant. Greetings, madam, and welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on the missile you carry. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies, we cannot afford to become complacent. You understand. Please step this way. Enter. I did not expect the Gridanian envoy to be an adventurer. It speaks highly of your character that the elder Seedseer would choose an outsider to represent her nation's interests. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from the Black Shroud? A memorial service honor. Seven health? Has it been five years? Five years since the Garlean Empire sought to wrest Yorza, Yorzia from our grasp. It was in answer to the Imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Yorzian Alliance new. But Gar 
very mild, was not content to wager all on a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans, the meteor project. The gauges, Nail Van Darnus, Hell's Take Him, intend to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon, Dalamud, from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Cardinal Cardinal Flats and there met the Vilf Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a flight a fight like the Battle of Cartino, and I have seen full many. But though we gave no quarter, spared not one owns of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalamon came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. It was the elder primal Bahamut, bent on making an eighth hell of Eorzea. In the space of the breath, the legions of the Emperor were set aflame, while our own armors fared little better. It was as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I sealed myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robing, robbing me from my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone and the still smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Were Archon Luz was still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for this wisdom in the days to come. For a while, our nation struggled to recover from devastation. The beastmen called forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and build now, our foes will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Empire, the Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us. Save yourselves. Save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Yorzia, and this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. I can Isina has the right of it. I accept her proposal. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Elder Seed Seer receives my reply. You travel next to Ulda, yes? Pray, give my regards to General Robon, oh, and tell him the wolf has been sniffing around the stables, a private dress and one in poor taste, but I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Wendy. May the navigator guide you on your journey. Speak with landfall at the airship landing. Wait, wait, wait one moment. I just need to go to the bus. to go to the central tunnel line.
There's no aid the right here. There's the aid the right. Hawker's Alley. Our time is built. Welcome to the Endeavor Pride of Enjoy the Fisherman's Guild. If the thought of embarking on voyage to the high seas piques your interest, you may be pleased to know we are currently recruiting crew members. Any interested parties are welcome to report to the guild at Limsa Luminsa. I've honor of being captain of the Endeavor. If you ever dreamed of fishing on the high seas, you'd best head to the Fisherman's Guild. Script exchange. My apologies, we only conduct business with trusted members of the house. Standing here, I see people from the most exotic locals of Yurzia across my path. It's enough to make one to leave this boat and hop on a ship to some unexplored corner of the world. One day, perhaps. Suspended. So it means that we cannot continue. Just need to finish the Gridanian Envoy then.
Star. The steps of Welcome to Ulda, Madame. We have been expecting you. Same General Roban will receive you in the fragrant chamber. Please take a lift down to the housing strip and speak with Bartholomew at the Royal Promenade. The steps of Thal. I just need to go here so that we can actually... Gladiator's Guild
Gridanian Envoy, I presume? Uh, would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the missive you bear, madam, I think? Ah uh, yes, the seal of the Elder Seeds here. Please proceed. Ah, a guest from Gridania. I thought I smelled leaf mold. I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Kane says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Ixal. Welcome to the Sultanate of Ulda. I am Rauban al-Din, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. Remember, bloody cart new. Do you know what happened that day, adventure, when we took the field against the Garlings? So my counterparts have educated you. Trust Merlib, Merlwib, to make light of our wolf problem. Women uh, always did have a black sense of humor. Wolves and bloodthirsty beasts upon which can, which one cannot turn one's back. It is only a matter of time before they bite. So it was with the Garlins 50 years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use magic than they began seizing territory from their neighbors. Led by the Legatus, Solus Zeus Galvus, they swiftly brought the other nations of Elisabard to hell, and so the Legatus became an emperor and his republic an empire. An empire which then sets its sights upon Eurasia. But the conquering emperor is now an old man of four score winters. His health is failing and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Garlins have been quite of late. But the 14th Emperor Legion is still entrenched within our borders, and their commander, Legatus Gaius van Belsar, has long harbored ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I fear we would fall like so many others before us, and not only Ulda, but Gridania and Limsaominsa as well. For the calamity brought the lot of us to knees, and we've yet to get up, we barely have a strength to stand against the beast tribes. Never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided adventurer and lions in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The garden steer and the admiral would not let it to go unnoticed. All other concerns pale in comparison to the empire, even the beast tribes and their own bloody primals. We must stand united once more, that much is clear, but if we were to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Kan Yi will have her memorial. We will honor the, our, we honor the memory of the fallen, we will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I will speak with Her Grace myself. Very good, sir. The Elder Sincere will have my reply, Anon. My thanks to you, adventurer. complete wind wind up airship you may now make use of the airship routes connecting the three nations before you may board on airship you must pay the requisite fare in guild level up on level 19 minions you have obtained whistle with which you can summon your very own minion to learn the call minion you must use first you must first use the whistle once you have used the item, a new entry will appear in your minion guide found under character in the main menu. 
You can either initiate the action from this menu or drag the icon set it to one of your hotbars and initiate it from there. To send your minion away, simply reselect the summoning icon. Minions can be summoned or dismissed at any time and the whistle has no recast timer. Once you have learned the summoning action, you will never lose it and it can be used with all classes or jobs. You can only summon one minion at a time. While minions do not generate any enmity, While minions do not generate any enmity, neither will they participate in battle. If you are KO, your minions will simply wander off back to wherever it is it rests until you call upon it again. Bartolomeo has information that may be of interest to you. Ah, my lady envoy, trust your stay in the Sultanate has been pleasant. Now if you do not mind my asking, do you have, do you perchance have plans to visit him in the near future? If so, I have information that may be of interest to you. I once accompanied the Flame General on an official visit to the seaside city-state. During each time, I became acquainted with Badiron, the proprietor of the Drowning Wrench. Well, the man sent word just now that he has a job for a capable adventurer. I can think of none with better credentials than you. Badiron would doubtless be pleased were you to offer him your services. Speak with Badiron at the Drowning Wrench in Limsa Lumina. Lumina. Limsa Luminsa. But first, we need to look for the main aether right in this area. Thank you. 
they saw a central tunnel in there, we just need to go there and proceed with our quest with the last lesson. What's this? It could happen to you. Well, Hill Youth on Emerald Avenue appears to have been the beneficiary of some good fortune. We may not be averse to sharing it. Later. Greetings, may I interest you in Chocobo? Mine are guaranteed faster to the realm or your mana back. Rent all Chocobos. Upon reaching level 10, you will be allowed to rent Chocobos from stables across Erosia. Chocobos can be used for speedy transport to areas which are not readily accessible via either ride. While riding, you have a complete control over the Chocobo until you either dismount, enter deep water, or attack, or the rental period expires. Miguel for 10 minutes, learn more about Chocobo Rental. The Chocobo Rental fee is 80 Miguel for 10 minutes, complete attraction, yes. Very good, remember, my birds are trained to return directly to the stables once the rental period is expired or upon the moment you dismount. Take care not to find yourself stranded in dangerous local today. Why am I here?
Right, so it seems that the one who can give us about the materia is in the bonfire. So we are here now in the bonfire. Swin Bros. Forging the spirit, level 19. Swin Bros wishes to disseminate the secrets of materia creation. Yes, this is the one that I want. What would you say if I told you that the inanimate objects can possess a soul? They can, believe it or not, although the soul in question is not their own, but that of their own. But of that of their owner. Through faithful service, the arms and armor that we use come to hold our spiritual energy. Thus do we from Thus do we form a spirit bond with them. The spiritual energy can be drawn out and converted into Mercuria, a special kind of crystal that can be attached to gear to enhance its properties. I am well versed in the ways of Mercuria extraction. If you wish to learn more about the process, it will be my pleasure to teach you. You're ready to commence your, your learning, good as you will have gathered by now. Materia is the crystallized form of one spiritual energy. As this energy is derived from an individual psyche, a volatile beast at the best of times, a degree of variance is to be expected in its production. In practice, this means that you won't know the exact properties of a stone until you cradle it in your hand. Now, Materia won't grant you much of uh, anything on its own. Its power must be tapped, see, and this is achieved by melding it to a gear. Know, though, that it takes the deft hands of a craftsman to meld Materia. You can always seek others to attach Materia on your behalf, but if you would sooner do it yourself, I recommend you speak to Phobhas. Melding is her field of ex expertise. If you wish to remove Materia from an item, Highlight its icon and select retrieve materia. There is a chance that the material will be salvaged. Is that it? Materia extraction now available. You can now extract materia from items. Materia extracted from one piece of gear can be affixed to another improving its attributes. To extract materia from an item, you must have first created a spirit bond with it by using the piece repeatedly in battle. Crafting or gathering once an item spirited spirit bond reaches 100%, you will be able to select extract materia from the list of available subcommands. Once materia is extracted from an item, its spirit bond will be reduced to 1%. Affixing materia to an item can be done by disciple, disciple of the hand with the proper training or by speaking with materia melder NPCs. Should you wish to remove materia, you may do so by highlighting it and selecting retrieve materia. So I. The, the white one the white one is the spirit bound can you see it there there's a white there's a bar beside the icon on the left part you can see a green bar and a white bar the white bar is the spirit bound like this one there's a spirit bound here as well just short sort this one out.
Put on maple short bowl. Extract materia. Once a materia has been extracted from an item, its spirit bond will be reduced to 1%. See, yes. Mailed request. The level of an, of an item also plays a role in who can or cannot enhance the gear. Requiring higher higher level crafters as the level of the item increases. If you lack the ability to meld your materia to an item, you may enlist the aid of other players or speak with a materia melder NPC. Another option is to find a similar piece of armor with materia already attached. The markets are a perfect place to find specific specially crafted items synthesized by disciples of hand from across Eorzea. Another option is to find another PC to mail the materia for you. One way to do this is via player search feature once you have found a PC capable of doing the meld. Player character PC. Meld and terms have been agreed upon. Target the player and select request meld from subcommand. Materia I determination plus one. It's a minion.
Why, hello there. I see you're a disciple of the hand like me. Mayhap you're interested in learning how to meld material to gear. If so, it'd be my pleasure to teach you. Request accepted. Ready to begin? Good. Now then, there is one thing to keep in mind when melding material slots. Arms and armor each have a certain number of these slots and this determines how many pieces of material they can host. Normally, an item cannot host more pieces of material than it has slots. However, as with most other things in life, there are certain exceptions. But this sort of knowledge is for later down the road. After you become more experienced, you may want to broach the subject matter with Master Pyramix. Now, off you go and happy melding. That's it. Fixing materia. Action learn materia. You can now melt materia to items. Gear can be ex enhanced significantly by affixing materia to the slots available on most weapons, tools, and armor. The number of slots available on a piece of gear can be confirmed by viewing its help te text. To affix materia to an item, highlight a piece of gear and select meld from the sub commands next select the materia which you wish to affix similarly you, should you wish to remove materia you may do so by highlighting it and selecting remove materia okay, let's try meld Yeah, all right. Deliver material enhanced icon. One out of one. It is curious to know how your carpentry skills are coming along. Did you bring him? Bring him. So I need to go back to him. What this Muda mix bubbly pawns. Level 25. Alright, exam. So we need to go back to our home. Wow, it's quite expensive. It's not that expensive. Back to New Gridania. Okay, is your lance ready? I'm eager to see what you want, brought. Alright. Finally, after a few hours, you do not disappoint me, Wendy. Your lance exceed my expectations. 
These formidable weapons were originally intended for use by each Guardian cavalry and were designed with the aim of maximizing their bearers' effectiveness on the field of battle. By utilizing the speed of his mount, a lance-wielding knight could easily deliver a devastating blow that would cripple if not outright kill. But this mode of attack pays significant strain on both the rider and his weapon. Should the latter fail, the knight would be left defenseless. Needless to say, the Iron Lance proved to be anything but prone to failure. Eventually, prompt Gridanians would wailers to adopt it as their own. The difference between the modern Gridanian weapon and the Ace Guardian original are not so substantial, amounting to little more than a smaller vamp blade. Our Lancers do not require the same protection as a mounted knight to see. Fascinating, is it not? The history of weapons carry? How they change and evolve to meet different demands. Truly, all things possess potential for growth. Weapons and armor, forests and cities, and aspiring carpenters. Remember this too, Wendy. The Iron Lance is a marvelous weapon not because it does not bend at the moment of impact, but, it, but because it does not break. To bend yet not break, to endure and preserve, to endure and persevere. And finally triumph. When I gaze upon this lens, I am reminded of a singular importance of resolve, a quality I saw in you when first you joined us, and that will serve you well in the future. Whatever troubles you may face remains res resolute as an iron lens, and you will succeed. Alright, headgear. Headgear. Rest complete, level 20, Carpenter Guild. Action Strides. Increase the efficiency of next touch action by 100%. Right, so that would be it. We already finished the level 20 Carpenter's Guild quest. And actually, that's a hard one. It's not actually user friendly. Not a user friendly quest at all. Okay, thank you very much for watching Final Fantasy 14 Gaming Vlog number 9. Once again, Man Man here. And please subscribe to my channel and click. The notification bell so that you will be notified for the next Final Fantasy XIV gaming vlog. So what we actually did here, we finished some of the current main scenario quest. We did some airship pass and we finished the level 20 Carpenter's Guild quest. Okay, thank you again once again. Goodbye for now and see you next time. Bye bye.